Well hi folks, it's Stratman from Pipware.com here again uh, just continuing the series on installing Linux on your computer so that you can trade Forex with it. Uh, we've been we've learnt so far in video one how to choose your your Linux version 32-bit or 64-bit, how to create a installation CD. Uh, we've booted off our CD in the second video so that we could um, test out Linux and without actually interfering with our hard drive and now we're about to do the installation so I've just started my computer up again with the CD installation CD in there and got back to this screen here and I'm going to choose to install Ubuntu and here we go here's the first step so as we go uh, through this I'll, I may pause it here and there if I see something take a little while um, so your experience of, of how quick this takes or not is um, maybe different than mine so it's determined here that I'm in New Zealand you could choose anywhere in the world for your time zone um, but obviously I'm going to choose New Zealand I'm going to click forward um, one of the things I'm going to do in here is decide to get rid of my Windows installation so suggest a keyboard layout where well, I use a USA keyboard layout here in New Zealand so um, that's what I will be using click forward and hopefully we'll get our um, information on our drives okay here we go this computer has Windows XP professional on it so I can choose the default option which is to erase the uh, Windows XP which is what I do want to do or if I'm a bit of a geek I could probably specify the partitions that I want to create myself later but I'm just gonna just gonna take the default and just click forward and now some of the information it's going to ask me about is my name, who am I? So I'll write my name in, just fill out these details. Notice how it's automatically trying to create a name for the computer. Um, what name do you want to use to log in? Well, I use uh, Lorimer on the rest of my network things. And I have a specific password I use everywhere, so I'll be typing that in as well and I usually name my computers by the by the the uh, model number of the computer in this case this computer is an i530 which is an Inspiron 530 from Dell so there we go we've filled out all those details we'll click next so here we go everything is looking pretty good I've got no need to go into the advanced settings and I'm just going to click the install and everything should just progress as one would expect now it's because of the video resolution I'm doing this at it's everything's kind of off the screen a bit but I'll just try and center that so you can see what's kind of happening down here and I'll um, just pause this occasionally um, as this will take probably about 20 minutes to install So if everything was successful, you should now have a installation is complete and we need to restart the computer. So let's do that. Now, my, while my Ubuntu was uh, shutting down, um, the CD drawer opened and I expected to get a message to take the CD out. Um, that didn't happen. Instead, I got this I.O. error um, to do with the CD drive. Now, I did experience this as well on my install on um, my laptop. 
this is a different computer so all I did was just power it off and um, start it back up again so we'll do that in this case and if you see this error uh, you probably don't need to get too excited or panic about it so um, I'll power off now and see what happens so this is me starting up uh, we'll see a little bit of a flicker of the screen and uh, you'll see a cursor flashing up in the top left hand corner that's quite common um, and then you should start seeing the Ubuntu logo there the color of the screen appears one of the things I'm really impressed with is the speed that this this um, system runs at it's incredible so what you'll need to do now is just um, log in with the password you had before and so oh, I'm going to do that As long as I haven't forgotten my password, everything should be quite good. And we should start seeing some menus appearing. And there we go. So my computer now is completely installed with Ubuntu 10.04 all ready for me to uh, install the next parts, which is the next bit we're going to do is install Wine, um, which is W-I-N-E and then install MetaTrader 4, MetaTrader 5 and then Microsoft Office. Um, so when you're shutting down this system it's as simple as clicking up in the top here uh, shut down and I think you'll be impressed as I was at how fast this thing shuts down. Mind you this is the first start but let's let's see how quick this disappears. That is amazing. Okay we will catch you on the next um, video.